Hi there again, everyone. This is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. Uh, back again, wanted to give you a preview uh, of an upcoming project. Now, this might be a little while before I get to it because I got my build queue kind of full right now, but this is just kind of so exciting. Uh, I wanted to share it with you. Now, I got contacted by an individual uh, who is local to me down in Tampa, Florida here. A uh, fairly worldly gentleman, but he's getting out of the industry and he had a couple of boats that he wanted to sell. So naturally, uh, kind of being in the industry, I thought I would check it out. Uh, and I'm really glad that I did because one of the two is uh, a very, very unique boat. Uh, just a tiny little project, but we'll, uh, we'll kind of let you see what we've got right over here. So this is a 1 30th scale German Type 21 submarine. Uh, it is uh, about 101 and 1 quarter inches in length, so really close to 32nd scale, uh, which is certainly good and easy for you know finding fittings and that kind of thing. But this is you know a massive boat, eight and a half feet in length. Uh, very, very sturdy fiberglass construction with a very thick layout that ranges, you know, from 3 16 uh, to a quarter inch thick uh, on average. Got some really nice details in the, uh, you know, that conning tower area. I'll have some work to do, you know, these guns, uh, you know, that was a valiant attempt, but, uh, you know, it's balsa wood. Um, not ideal for an RC submarine not only does it float but certainly very prone to taking on water um, fiberglass has these these cnc cut inserts for you know flood holes and grates and that kind of thing a little bit of a concern um, with the you know the, the different expansion coefficient between fiberglass and aluminum which means it's it's possible that these seams might crack and pop out but uh, I recently learned uh, from Andy on the forums that the expansion coefi uh, coefficient for uh, aluminum and fiberglass is actually pretty close so you know if I get it bonded in there pretty good we may be in pretty good shape so this kit uh, actually came out of Germany and uh, as far as I know it's it's basically a, a one-off it's not uh, you know a commercially available kit uh, that you could buy if you're interested which you know again unique subject um, beautiful boat uh, and from what I understand a very good performer so this scale really will lend itself to a lot of really cool features such as you know working periscopes um, operational torpedo shutters and of course working Torpedoes. Now, uh, if you followed my Type 7 project, you'll have seen that I actually got uh, some very cool battery powered torpedoes in 30 second scale. Uh, and this, uh, if there ever was a project that would be calling out for it, um, would be it. Here's a little bit of a view down the inside of the model. You can see the watertight box that was uh, put in there. Uh, again, super thick I'd imagine this thing could probably get down pretty deep without needing to worry about failure but you know the thing about these dry hulled boats is you've got a huge amount of uh, surface area along all of these seals and gaskets and uh, of course you know for every inch of seal you've got a certain degree of probability that it'll leak and so uh, you know you can see we've got uh, five different access hatches in there and that's a lot of surface area that could uh, you know potentially leak which is why um, you know I'm, I'm likely going to be going with uh, a cylinder but lots of room uh, inside you can see really really thick layup here it's this is about three-eighths of an inch maybe a little bit under that uh, so very very sturdy these uh, CNC cut aluminum inserts some working torpedo doors there so just wanted to share this really cool project with you uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can 
stay in touch with uh, what's coming down the pipeline uh, and this will be one of the projects. So as always, thank you very much for joining me yet again. Uh, look forward to sharing more RC submarine projects with you in the future. Have a great day.